Hello, I am Roberto Molina. I am a paraplegic T7, T8. I am uh, born in El Salvador, raised in the United States for elementary, and then uh, moved here when we were in uh, high school with my mom and my sister. I, we immigrated here when I was uh, about 13 years old. I've been living in Vancouver since I was in high school. Uh, I've seen the city grow pretty big, from small to big, from being really inaccessible to a lot more accessibility. Born in El Salvador, that's where I had my accident. Uh, doctor uh, did a surgery and uh, damaged the spinal cord injury. At that time, my mom uh, decided to take me to the United States to get rehab because El Salvador had just broken into a war. At that time, we went into the United States so that I can get better rehabilitation. I was six years old at that time. And when I was going to high school, there was only three high schools that were wheelchair accessible. So it's changed a lot, but it's still not there yet when it comes to accessibilities. So my routine day is like I wake up six o'clock in the morning, get ready, let the dogs out. I have two dogs and then come back, feed them. I take a shower and then get ready to go to work. I work as a sales rep for a medical company. We sell wheelchairs and cushions and hospital beds, anything that is mobility, especially in Canada government calls it like you'll get equipment but basic mobility certain people will be able to have access to the high-end equipment whereas the other ones will only have access to the basic mobility equipment in canada we don't have a disability act so it pushes all these business to be able to like companies to make everything or when you're rebuilding or anything or everything being built it has to be accessible so it, it's all up to the province or the city if they want to enforce anything. The city, I would have to come in there and fix the rooting in because we have so many trees all in the neighborhood, especially like, you know, commercial drive. The, the trees have created all these root walks, so like the paves are very unsafe. The roots of the trees have damaged the curbs. And we kind of got lucky here in Vancouver a little bit was because a little, we're a little bit more accessible because of the 2010 games. When you bid for Olympic games, you have to bid for the Paralympic Games as well. They had to make it accessible because we had the Paralympic Games here. If you go in the downtown core area, like Olympic Village, it's a lot more accessible. Why? Because it was Paralympics Games, so it had to look good. So, but once you get outside of that, that area, you know, coming into East Van, you know, all the old neighborhoods, everything is the holes here and curb cuts. The roads are not even, so then the, you know, you have to pop wheelies or else your wheel get caught. You're going off to the curb, right? A lot of curbs, cuts, and everything, the roads are falling apart. They don't take care of it, right? So it's, and, and like, you know, like I said, in the sidewalks, it's just horrendous with the, the trees where the concrete is, you know, even people walking can, you know, fall if they hit that. So never mind a wheelchair. It, once you know this neighborhood, like I've lived here since 2013, you know where all those little pots are all, because as much as you call 311, <laughs> nobody comes, right? So... You know, we're getting there, like I said, like it's, it's a little bit better uh, in accessibility, but we're still not there at all close, especially in the older parts of Vancouver, right?